The following is a production of Medfield TV, Community Shows. Cindy Previtt. Um, I've lived in Medfield for 17 years. I'm an artist and a teacher. And I teach um, knitting, drawing, and painting. I got into art at a very young age. Um, ever since I can remember holding a crayon, I've just been drawing and painting, and um, it's just been a part of my life. I always carried a sketchbook, and um, it's just naturally been a part of my life. I do a lot of public artwork, and um, it's kind of on an individual basis. Um, I look for listings on Craigslist, and I have a couple of artist friends who make me aware of opportunities to do these public art projects. They're all pretty small, but um, I just keep my antennas up and look for um, opportunities to do public art pieces. And um, I do not have a studio as of yet, but um, the public art pieces usually are done on location. Um, for instance, a utility box, which is a box at the um, intersection that houses the controls for the traffic lights. And um, you just go there and you work on it there. You don't have to worry about a studio space for this big, big enormous piece, you know? You've got it right there. My first ever public art piece was in 2006 to um, paint a life-size fiberglass cow for the Boston Cow Parade. They actually made a book out of it there were 120 cows in the exhibit, and it was all over Boston, and my cow was situated in front of the Heinz Convention Center. This is um, my cow here. It's called Happy Cow. It's a blue cow with smiles all over it and a toothbrush on the tail, bought by the Massachusetts Dental Society as a donation to um, the Jimmy Fund. And this is a chair that I did for Logan Airport. They had a competition called Art Rocks, and you submitted designs to decorate a rocking chair that they would provide. And they liked my design. It's called New England Lighthouses, and it has lighthouses on each of the panels on the back of the chair with the location underneath it lettered on. And it has a lighthouse on each of the arms, and it also has a lighthouse on each one of the slats of the seat with the location below it. And that was on exhibit for many years in JetBlue Terminal at Logan Airport. And about three years ago, they asked me to spruce it up a little bit, and I did. And I don't know if it's still there or not, but I haven't heard. Sometimes people will tell me they saw my chair, and they'll show me pictures of them sitting in my chair at the airport and stuff. It's kind of cool. And this is a piano that I did in 2016 for the Celebrity Series of Boston. And that was 60 artists working on pianos. And um, we all shared a studio space, a big giant space in the Design and Innovation Building in Boston down by the waterfront. And I used to go in there and work on the piano in my spare time. I designed it in my own design and they left it up to me what to design on it. And this is just a close up so you could see the bench. The bench has leaves and the, the theme of the, the piano is just a giant flower. The way I got this commission was they wanted to know like your qualifications and they liked my work so they chose me as one of the 60 artists that were participating. The utility box I did in Dedham was um, about two years ago. It's over in East Dedham right in front of a Dunkin Donuts on the corner of Sawmill Ave and Dedham Street I think it is. The design is butterflies. Four butterflies, so one for each side, and on the very top is a caterpillar. You can't see the caterpillar because it's above my head when you're standing on the street, but guys in big trucks could see it, you know, looking down. It was a very fun experience. I was right on the street, and people were walking by on the sidewalk making comments, and they were all positive. They were just like, oh, thank you so much for making our town beautiful, you know. They're doing a great job, and people on motorcycles would dr drive by and yell, good job, you know, or something like that. It was just a really fun experience. One of my public art pieces that I did this year was two flower pots for Dedham Civic Pride in the town of Dedham, Mass. 
they asked me to come up with a design. I think I made two designs and they accepted one of them. They wanted two parts alike to go on either side of an entranceway. My design was leaves of grass growing up from the bottom of the pot and ladybugs crawling on the leaves of grass. And um, they planted them with flowers and they put them in front of a park in Oakdale Square in Denham. This summer I'm working on um, two pianos. One of them I actually just finished. It's in Dedham Square in front of Blue Bunny Bookshop and Cafe on High Street in Dedham. It's a blue piano and on the front it has a sea turtle on one side and then on the front it has a manatee on the other side. And on the very top, like where you have to look down, on, it has a humpback whale. The sponsor's names are on the sides and that was also a project I learned through Dedham Civic Pride, but they connected me with Dedham School of Music, who is the sponsor of that project. I also do pet portraits, and they're in either graphite pencil, which is regular pencil, or colored pencil. People can choose the type they want and the size they want, and I work from photographs. I do not do pictures of live animals, because an animal won't stay still for five or six hours sitting upright like this. I mean, it's just not going to happen, but I work from photographs. This is my uncle's dog, Pino. One of the first pet portraits that I did um, was of Pino, and she was on my business card for a long time. This one is a cat. Somebody commissioned me to do that. Um, she saw my business card, and she wanted a picture of her cat. And originally, the cat was much thinner, and I emailed her a picture as, as I was doing it. She goes, oh, no, no, no. He's way too thin. He's much more chubby than that. So I had to adjust the picture <laughs> and make him a little fatter. <laughs> it's mostly for friends and family. Um, I just get the word out by word of mouth, you know. I do have a Facebook page, ABC Art by Cindy. People can contact me that way. But um, I've been doing that for 10 years, maybe. I have a portfolio, you know, the dogs and cats and everything I've done, guinea pigs. And it's a lot of fun. I do knitting. Um, I'm wearing a piece that I knitted. I'm addicted to knitting, and I can't go to bed if I don't knit that day. No matter what time it is, I will knit that day, every day. I just love to knit, and I love to teach knitting to other people, and I think it's just a great, great hobby. I like to knit mostly sweaters for myself. I have a few favorite designers that I follow, and I make sweaters from their patterns. And this is one of my favorites. This one is a recent piece designed by Nora Gone. And um, I know her from previous workshops, trunk shows. I've met her several times over. And she's very prolific. She's written books and really into knitwear design. And I wear this sweater all the time during the winter. It just keeps me so warm and everything. It's about maybe two years old. And the pattern was first published in Vogue Knitting Magazine, which is my favorite magazine of all time, Vogue Knitting. And um, I just love it. And I, every issue that comes out, I get it the day it hits the stands. You know, I'm right there getting it. Uh, I look forward to the patterns in it. I also teach knitting, painting, and drawing at Michael's in Natick, Massachusetts. And um, it's a very small, intimate setting. They have a classroom. Usually the table is set up in like a, um, a circle and I sit at one end and the students sit around the table and I just go from student to student and help them out. I show them basic knitting techniques in the knitting classes and um, I do have an example of one of the projects that you can make in my classes. And this is a called a keyhole scarf. And what you do when you wear it, you put this through here, kind of like an ascot kind of thing, and you wear it like that and your neck is in here. And this is called Knit Beginner 2 at Michaels and Natick, uh, michaels.com. And the zip code is 01701 if you want to sign up. It's just basically very basic knitting classes, um, how to knit, how to purl. And I have some students who enjoy it so much, they've been coming for years. And they don't do the same project over and over. Believe me, they bring their own patterns or they ask me to find patterns for them. And we just take it from there and we just grow together. I also attend a lot of craft classes at Medfield Public Library, and they're run by Bree Ozane, and she's a fantastic teacher. I mean, she has just opened up so many doors for me. 
but I've taken like almost every workshop she has since I found out about them. And uh, I, I brought a couple of examples today to show you of things that I've made in recent workshops there. A pencil case, which I made a little bit bigger to hold my paintbrushes. And then um, I made a little um, needle felted cactus. And that was a class. It was just a needle felted succulent class. And I made one of those. And um, I made quilt squares and books and all kinds of stuff. You know, I think the thing that inspired me to paint and draw was an escape from TV. Because upstairs, when I was a little girl, in the living room, everyone would gather around the TV and watch Batman or whatever was on, you know, whatever show had might be on. I really wasn't into TV that much. Uh, I just kind of went down the basement. I had my own little space there, and like a mini studio, you could say. And I would just do my artwork, and that was like an escape for me from the TV. I could just go down there and paint or draw, just, you know, fool around with ideas. My advice for aspiring artists would be study art, learn about other people's art, and see as much art as you can. And if you have a chance to make art, do it. You know, no matter if it's a little sketch on a napkin with a ballpoint pen, or if it's a big enormous mural on the side of a building, I don't, I, it doesn't matter, just do art. I have a Facebook page um, called ABC Art by Cindy, and um, I can also be reached by email at cinzano21 at verizon.net. If you're interested in having me do some artwork for you, um, I'd be happy to take it on. Let me know. The proceeding was a production of Medfield TV, Community Shows.